Hey, what's up, everybody? So, I want to talk about this King Cobra comic. I didn't even know it existed until last week, and it seems to be a kind of rare item. This original printing was from 2017, but I think that they did a reprint in 2022, maybe. It's from Onion Head Comics, and let's see, I have Cobra's response to it right here, where it says, the comic book sucked. It was made by a troll. And about the only other thing online I can find about it is this uh, reissue post where the artist and producer Toaf Grass 2000 made a post uh, in 2022. It says, Hello, fellow regards and regard its artists, trolls, and substance abusers. In case you weren't around for the first time, the reprint of my 2017 King Cobra comic book is now available. It's a 24-page bagged and boarded comic. I used a new printer, and now it's the proper size. Other updates include improved cover and lettering. Go to onionheadcomics.com now. And people are asking, like, does any of the money go to Josh? I don't want to support him. Would most definitely buy a copy if this is the case. And uh, they respond, nope, zilch, nada. So, it's, uh, it's kind of rare. It's been around since 2017. There's two different issues. I mean, yeah, two different versions of it. But I think there's only one issue of the comic. There's only the first story. So, ever since I found found out about it my friend sent me pictures of every page i've been making a uh, a reading of it so let's uh watch that now king cobra produced by onion head comics i am a high functioning retard corner of center and fifth streets casper wyoming A crowd gathers to observe the mind-blowing act ready of King Cobra. The offerings pour in. Girl, you know, tubes. King Cobra gathers up the donations of his adoring fans and returns to the gothic mansion he calls home. Dons his onion helmet. Fuck a smoking. And smokes the church warden's pipe of delicious tobacco. I kinda got that Captain Jack Sparrow sort of Johnny Depp look. Meanwhile, in Washington, D.C., Politicians gather to discuss the delegalization of marijuana. President Clint is about to unilaterally delegalize pot. Pot is the scourge of humanity. Pot is hereby delegalized. Suddenly, the sound of thunder. What the? It's some kind of thunderstorm. No! Cobra, I know you did this! It's a well-known fact that King Cobra has magical powers. Telekinesis. Forming chi balls. Controlling fire. So apparently there's a female ghost in this apartment. Communicating with so ghosts. Attractive. Concocting love potions. Conjuring thunderstorm. I would not classify myself as a warlock. I am something much more powerful. When Cobra was a young snakelet, he sent away for a book of magic spells. He waited four to six weeks until the mysterious tome finally arrived. Though little Cobra could barely read, he could tell what was in the book by the pictures. Over time, King Cobra became very powerful. Uh -huh. yeah. In a flash of inspiration, Cobra created his own religion, which was definitely an invention of his own mind and not ripped off from the Harry Potter movies. A phallic symbol appeared, representing the four elements, which are controlled by Satan. They say it was the Prince of Darkness himself. 
who tattooed the penis onto Cobra's arm. Other objects of power. Cheaply made folding novelty knife. Magic wand. Spice. Black and green energy drink. Hot sauce. Tobacco long stemmed pipe. Magical staff. DC rich warlock. The throne. Back in DC, President Clint is rebuilding the Capitol Dome from when it was struck by lightning. Mr. President, you have a telephone call. Hello? Who is this? Your mom! <laughs> Good one, Cobes. Oh shit, I'm late for work. If I'm late one more time, I'll be fired. They didn't like it when I mixed up the sweet and unsweet teas either. Dude, where's your pants? <sighs> Grab something and cover that up, man. I'll just cover it over this here oh, onion. Yeah, what's up? Time to sweep up the lobby. Some people wonder why I do this job. When I'm a rich and famous rock star, oh, they give me free burgers. Cobra, can you clean the bathroom? Someone got shit everywhere. Yeah. And I won't clean his poop cross fingernails. I mean, sometimes it's not much fun. But they give me free burgers. Got two tickets to Flavor Town. Time to clock out. <sighs> four is my time clock number. And there are four elements and four directions of Earth. Also, what the fuck, Cobra? Is that a bear attacking your grudge? Oh, the onion made my putrid hair grow really fast. It's growing quite nicely if I do say so myself. Later. Cobra? Cobra? Yeah, Sean, what is it? What are we going to go on tour again? Soon. I just need to get the... Tour bus fixed, it broke on me. Yay! New tour bus is gonna be sick. It'll have two bell towers on top and black and green paint. Yeah. Breaking news report. Greetings, citizens of America. Since my plan to delegalize pot was thwarted by my arch nemesis, King Cobra, go ahead and enjoy your pot. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and delegalize music! No, just no, 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 no! Hey, TV, you're a pain in the neck. I'm coming for you, Mr. President. You know what I'm saying? But I'm kind of hungry. Maybe I'll have a couple hell burgers dipped in ranch sauce. Whoa, how about that? Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. And maybe a quick nap. Cobra wakes up the next day. <coughs> Where am I? John? What's oh, this shitty apartment? Am I in the future? What has happened to our gothic bad boy hero? And did President Clint really delegalize music? Find out all and more in the next exciting adventures of King Cobra.
go as pussy, all right. <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching this. I'll uh, see you soon. And hopefully there'll be an issue to some point that I can read. Anyways, see you guys later.